Here's the problem. And here's the solution. This checklist of 18 points, and don't worry, I kept them short and easy, is how I usually teach my students to play Bach chords. Although I never called it Bach chord checklist before, I feel it makes the whole topic of Bach chords a lot easier to digest. So let's go. Point one, bring your guitar in position. Guitar up, headstock up, guitar parallel to your upper body, elbow in line with your upper body. Point two, place this joint of your index finger on the bottom string fifth thread and make it sound clean. Don't forget, always as close as you can to the fret wire. Point three, stay in position and reach to the top string with that first bit of your index finger. Therefore, push your forearm slightly forward to have that joint in front of the neck. Have a look again. Point four, make both the bottom and the top string sound clean. Do you remember? Close to the fret wire. Point five, do the same on the fourth, third, second and first fret. Extra tip, the pressure on the strings you get from actually pressing on it and also from pulling back the guitar and use your arm weight. Point six, we're back to fret five. Make the bottom two strings and the top string sound. You might have to do little adjustments to your finger position. Point seven, you guessed right, do the same on fret four, then three, two, one, take your time. Point eight, it's getting more serious. We're back to fret five, put your index finger in position, leave one fret space, and then your ring finger, you put it on the seventh fret A string. Point nine, make the top two strings and the bottom two strings sound clean. Don't forget to bring your ring finger close to the fret wire as well. Point 10, you know what's next. Same thing, fourth fret, third fret, second fret, first fret. Point 11, we're back to fret five. Now add the little finger just under your ring finger. Tiny adjustments to your fingering help you make space for it. Point 12, make the top three and the bottom two strings sound clean. Point 13, same thing, fret four, three, two, one, go. Point 14, there's only one string left, the G string, right in the middle. We go a few steps back, bring the index finger in position and make the G string sound and the G string only. Point 15, now add the top and the bottom two strings to the sound. Point 16, add your ring and little finger 7th fret A and D string close to the fret wire and then play string by string. Don't forget the pressure comes from pressing on it and pulling back your arm, use its weight. Point 17, do the same for the bar chord on fret 4, 3, 2 and then 1. You did it, you played a full minor bar chord. Now what about point 18? Here it comes. Point 18, give it some time and practice. That checklist here looks sweet and easy, but for many guitar beginners, bar chords is a hot topic. To some it comes more naturally, to others it doesn't. Don't get too frustrated over it if you can't seem to make it sound at first. If you need any help with your guitar playing, then check out highguitar.com where you can get one-on-one -on -one lessons. I understand how frustrating it is to be enthusiastic about guitar playing, but not know where to start or what to do next. And that's why every month I help dozens of people just like you to learn guitar quickly and I'd love to do the same for you. You know what goes well together with bar chords? A nice strumming sound just like on the recordings we all love. Watch this next.